Hi, welcome back. We're about ready to start writing some music. The first thing we'll want to do is come up here to play, playback devices, then choose a configuration for this piece. All right, so right now the VDL32 Sounds Essentials is selected. I think I'm cool with that. That should work for what we're doing here. Go ahead and close out of here. Now the next thing we'll want to do is actually come up here to File and Save As. And essentially create a new file for our piece. And the primary reason is just so we don't affect the original template file or sort of contaminate or corrupt this file in any way, shape, or form. So you're actually always starting with a clean slate whenever you're starting with a template. So I'm going to go ahead and give mine a name. Brian's piece. Then we'll go ahead and click Save. Alright, so now we're working on Brian's piece. So there's a few text items we're working with here. We've got a dedication, a title, a subtitle, and composer. So let's go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call it Brian's Awesome Piece. Not sure if it'll be awesome uh, in the long run, but that'll work for now. And we'll give it a dedication, dedicated to you. Subtitle percussion feature. You can make this whatever you want it to be. Sometimes I'll actually come in and add the, the current date using a wild card. That's something you can look up in the Sibelius reference. And then composer Brian T. Harmson. I always like to use my middle initial when I'm particularly proud of a project I'm working on. Alright, so now we're ready to actually start adding some instruments into the score. So we'll first come on up here to the Create menu. You can see there's a whole slew of items here. Basically anything you want to add to the score can be found here in the Create area. Uh, bars, let's go ahead and add an extra bar to the end. We'll come back up here to Create again. And notice out here next to Instruments, there's an I. So I'm actually going to click out of here and press I on my keyboard. And that brings up the Instruments menu. Now, if you're wanting to use the virtual drumline instruments in your score, you'll need to come over here to Choose From and choose the VDL template 6.0b or whichever version of the template you're using. Uh, don't get that confused. The SE5 template, those are the actual sounds that are built into Sibelius, like using the essential sounds. So we'll actually want to choose from the VDL template 6.0b. So we've got our drumline battery family chosen here. Now you see there's a manual and manual A for all the snare uh, drum instruments. Basically the A just maps all of the most common snare sounds to that A space and the regular manual maps them all to the C space. I personally prefer to put it on the A space so I'm going to select the manual light. Um, the light version just uses less samples thus using less RAM or less memory. Now if you hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC, you can actually select multiple instruments. So I've got my Command button held down here. So I've got my Tenderline manual still holding down the Command button. Bass drum manual light. And Cymbal Line, 18 inches. Let's go ahead and add those into the score. Now we're not going to want to delete this default instrument here until we've actually chosen all instruments and clicked OK. Largely because if we do that, all of these text items and some of the formatting for the piece will disappear. That's just uh, a little quirk in Sibelius, so we want to make sure we don't delete that just yet. Let's go ahead and come on over to Marimbas. Let's choose Rosewood, Hard Light. Let's go ahead and add that to the score. Whoops, we don't want Birch. So let's go ahead and delete that. Come on over to Vibes. Let's add a hard light vibe. Then we'll scroll on down here and let's choose one of our combo instruments. I particularly like the combo B uh, because it actually has a decent amount of, of instruments included. Uh, but for this one, let's use concert band combo. This just it's a pretty large combo instrument. It comes with pretty much everything you'd want to use in your standard concert band piece or concert band percussion setup for the most part. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now you'll notice that the concert band combo got stuck up here at the top, and that's just because that's the, the score order for some of these instruments. We'll go ahead and select that. Press move down, move it down here. 
below the vibes. And for the marimba staff, uh, we're actually going to want a grand staff. So I'm going to select the marimba staff here. Now I'll click extra staff below. And you can see right here we've got the A out there in parentheses. That's the first staff. And then B, that's the second staff. So I think that's just about enough. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now this is asking if you want the essentially the size of the score uh, to change based on the instruments that we have in there. No, I don't want that. I'm just going to go ahead and click No. There we go. Okay, so you'll notice the margin change, and that just did that to compensate uh, for the document size we're working with here. That's something you can actually go back into uh, Layout, Document Setup, and if you want to, you can come in here and tweak that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I think 0.6 is typically a, a pretty good size. There we go. Now you can see we've got this bracket running all the way down the left side through all of the instruments. We're not actually going to want that. So I actually want it to go just through the battery. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. I'll drag my score over. I'm going to select the bracket and then just drag it from this bottom down here up to the symbols area. There we go. I'll zoom out a little bit. And to zoom in and zoom out, I'm just holding down Command and hitting my plus and minus key. That would be Control plus or minus on Windows. So I want a bracket to go through the rest of these instruments. Let's come up here to Create, Other, Bracket or Brace. This is a bracket. Do the same thing we just did. Select the bracket and then drag it down. We're just going to have this one go through the keyboard instruments. We're just going to let the concert band guy hang out there by himself. All right. And the next thing we want to actually touch on is the bar lines. We, since we have the brackets broken up, we'd like the bar lines to be the same. So um, you could select here or you could select up at the top of the bar line. We're just going to select here and drag up. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing here with the pit score. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So we can go ahead and get rid of the default staff now. It's not going to affect our score. So I'm going to go ahead and press I to go to my entrance menu. Select default. Delete from score. Saying this will delete uh, staves from the score, any, including any music on them. So if I had music on here, I might not want to do that. But uh, I think I'm cool with getting rid of our default staff. Go ahead and click yes then OK. It's giving me the same warning that I had before. Uh, do you want to increase the size of the music to make it fit? I don't want to, and I, I'm probably not going to ever choose that, so I'm actually going to say don't do this again. Click No. All right, there we go. So now we've actually got our piece pretty much laid out the way we're going to want it to be whenever we start working on it. So uh, that's pretty much it for this lesson. Pretty soon, in the next couple of videos, we'll actually start entering some music into our score. So we'll see you next time.